Jeremy Fox, and I'd like to tell you about my experience in band in high school. So I played saxophone for band, and I had a band director that absolutely hated my guts and wanted to make my life miserable. For our statewide competition, he chose our music that we play, and the music piece that he chose for me, one that was very technically difficult for a saxophone to play, just by the number of high notes and low note transitions that we had to do. So I practiced and practiced thinking, you know what, I'm going to show this guy. I'm going to do my best and show him what I'm made of. So as I'm going through and practicing, I mean, my, my lip is bleeding by how much I'm actually practicing. I'm having to st stick pieces of Kleenex in there so that actually they can keep playing. On the day of performance, actually to get the top ranking, you have to do a flawless performance from memory. And I said, you know what, I practice this music so much, I no longer actually have to look at the sheet music anymore. So I took the book. Flipped it over, my heart completely racing, so nervous. Took a deep breath in, let it out through the instrument, and I heard a perfect first note come through. As I continued to play, the music rising, 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 hit the very high note right before the end, right down the low note, and it came out and then perfectly faded away. And I knew I had done it. I'd done a flawless performance from memory. And thinking, you know what? I really did show him. Now, years later, I actually looked back and was thinking about it and realized, you know, he didn't actually hate my guts. He recognized my true potential. So I found out that, you know, someone that you think is really critical of you actually might be the one that cares the most. Thank you.